Benfica has this uncanny knack for nurturing star talents and auctioning them off at steep prices. Enter João Neves, the latest prospect poised for a lucrative departure. He's been catching the eye of two major Premier League clubs, sparking a heated tug of war. But what makes this young talent stand out, and is it time for him to bid Portugal adieu? João Pedro Gonçalves Neves, a lad hailing from Tavera City, emerged into the world 19 years ago. His football journey commenced at the tender age of eight, at Casa Benfica Tavera in 2012, where his father happened to work. Over five years, alongside his classmate Don Carlo Ramos, now donning a PSG jersey, Neves honed his skills. Primed as a defensive midfielder, his trajectory was promising. Transitioning through Benfica's academy from U15 in 2017, Neves' ascent was remarkably smooth. In a mere five years, he traversed U15, U17, U19, and landed at Benfica B. By the age of 18, in December 2022, he penned a professional contract with Benfica Senior until 2028. Almost immediately after sealing his professional deal, the 174cm tall prodigy had a taste of his debut. A fleeting moment against Braga in the Portuguese league, followed by a maiden Champions League appearance versus Club Bruges in February 2023, etched an unforgettable mark. Wearing the coveted number 87 jersey, Neves cherished his debut, describing it as a dream come true courtesy of coach Roger Schmidt's trust. He vowed to repay that faith with nothing short of his finest performances. João Neves blossomed into a linchpin for as aqueous midfield, proving his mettle in the last six Portuguese league games of the previous season. He was the go-to choice, instrumental in Benfica's unbeaten streak, amassing 16 points from five wins and a draw. These victories culminated in as aqueous clinching the league championship, edging out Porto by a mere two points. The standout moment etched in Neves' memory was the Lisbon derby against Sporting in May 2023. Trailing 2-1, his timely goal in the 90-plus 40th minute salvaged a 2-2 draw, marking his maiden goal in Benfica Senior, a cherished and monumental achievement. As the 2023-24 season commenced, João Neves emerged as a talked-about, maturing talent, earning plaudits from seasoned pros like Bruno Fernandes and Bernardo Silva. In an interview on Sport TV, Bruno Fernandes expressed his desire to see João Neves join Manchester United, envisioning a bright future for the young talent alongside him. Not to be outdone, Bernardo Silva, from Manchester City, countered Bruno's proposition. Silva, advocating for Neves, claimed that the talent was best suited to join him at the Etihad, rather than at Old Trafford. Caught in the crosshairs of persuasion by these Portuguese football elites, Neves, at 19, stands as a player of significant prowess. According to Opta Analyst, he spent a remarkable 81% of the season as a defensive midfielder in Roger Schmidt's 4-2-3-1 formation at Benfica. João Neves stands out in the defensive midfield due to his exceptional involvement in the game, boasting an impressive 103.2 touches per 90 minutes, the highest recorded figure in the Portuguese league by Opta Analyst. His adeptness with the ball is further exemplified by a remarkable 70.9 successful passes per 90 minutes. Beyond his prowess in ball control and passing, Neves excels in tackling. Despite his stature at 174 cm, he fearlessly engages in duels, displaying remarkable courage against larger opponents. Statistically, he ranks third in the league for successful tackles, 2.4 per 90 minutes, and dual victories, 9.6 per 90 minutes, showcasing his tenacity and effectiveness in the dirty work on the field. With such promising attributes, the interest from Manchester City and Manchester United, coupled with endorsements from Bruno Fernandes and Bernardo Silva, indicates a potential move. Reportedly valued at a staggering €105 million Euros by Benfica, Neves has become a highly sought-after prospect. However, assessing the current setups of City and United, the scenario for Neves' services appears intriguing. At Manchester City, Rodri dominates the role of defensive midfielder, supported by players like Mateo Kovacic and Mateusz Nunes. Yet, Neves' arrival could offer a new layer or partnership alongside Rodri, especially considering City's need for depth in this position, particularly with uncertainties surrounding Calvin Phillips' availability. Guardiola's emphasis on the defensive midfield pivot adds weight to Neves' potential impact on City's squad dynamics. So, what's the deal with Manchester United? 
Neves's presence seems crucial there, stepping in as a successor and partner for Casemiro. Clearly, Ten Hag's system demands more than what Casemiro alone can offer in guarding United's midfield. An injection of youthful energy alongside him is essential, and Sofian Amrabat's presence alone might not suffice. Players like João Neves possess a profile that could enable Bruno Fernandes to focus more on the attacking game. Yet, United must also earmark investments for their future midfield. Planning ahead is crucial for both management and Ten Hag. The allure of a bright future at a prestigious club with a hefty salary is undoubtedly enticing for a young talent like Neves. However, caution should prevail when considering his future trajectory. Reflecting on Neves's tenure at Benfica, it's apparent that he's still relatively new. Last season marked his emergence as a core player, suggesting that a longer stint at Benfica could aid in his full maturation before considering a move. Joao Felix had a somewhat similar trajectory when departing for Atletico Madrid. At the time, Felix had only truly shined for a single season in Portugal's league. His adaptation to the higher level of competition in La Liga had its initial challenges. Ultimately, the future lies in Neves's hands. He understands his situation better than anyone. The law of lucrative offers will persist, but carefully weighing the right time to depart and selecting a conducive club for growth is paramount. Pondering Neves's situation deeply, if he were to leave, where might football lovers see him fitting in? This decision requires careful consideration of timing and the ideal environment for his development.